USA just released fully functioning female robots. The United States of America has been doing pretty well considering their advancements in the field of military and technological advancements. But their production of robots has been claimed to be just slightly above the average. In order to cope with this, the USA has been working consistently to make their mark. But what kind of robots are they making? How will they raise their slightly above average mark? What measure are they taking to reach the top? Continue watching the entire video to know more. Hey everyone and welcome back to our channel. I hope you guys are doing absolutely well. In this video, we will be talking about the robots that have been developed by the United States of America recently. These robots are capable of doing wonders. So if you are new to this channel, then make sure to press the subscribe button. Now, without any further ado, let's hop right into the video. America has been on the run to become the greatest in every field. They have been on the forefront of all types of innovation and technological advancements. From the creation of the smartest consumer products to creating the first human-like artificial brain, their list of innovations never ends. With strenuous use of artificial intelligence, it has been getting increasingly sophisticated at doing what humans do, but more efficiently, more quickly, and at a lower cost. The potential for both AI and robotics is just huge, and we cannot stress that enough. The idea of deploying autonomous military robots on the field of war is quite dumb, according to the people. Packbot, the military robot that the US Army uses for its inspections and bomb disposal, has practically no onboard intelligence and is steered using remote control. What the Army has long wanted instead are intelligent robot teammates that can follow orders without constant supervision. However, the recent reports now suggest that they are now one step closer to what they wanted. The Army's research lab has been reported to have developed a software that allows robots to comprehend verbal instructions, carry out simple chores, and report back. The potential rewards are tremendous. Robots that are capable of understanding commands and have a degree of machine learning intelligence that would one day be able to go ahead of troops and check for IEDs or ambushes, it could also reduce the number of soldiers as a human needed on the battlefield. Even self-driving cars don't have a high enough level of understanding to be able to follow instructions from another person and carry out a complex mission, says Nicholas Roy of MIC, who was part of the team behind the project. But our robot can do exactly that. Nicholas Roy has been reported to be working as a part of the Robotics Collaborative Technology Alliance. This alliance is a 10-year-old project led by the Army Research Laboratory. Its team includes researchers from MIT and Carnegie Mellon, who are working alongside the government institutions like NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory and robotics firms such as Boston Dynamics. The program finished last month with a series of events to show off what it had achieved. A number of robots were put through their paces, showing off their manipulation skills, mobility over obstacles, and ability to follow verbal instructions. The dog is a perfect example of what we're aiming for in terms of teaming with humans says project leader Stuart Young. Just like the dog, the robots should be able to take verbal instructions and interpret gestures, and at the same time, it would be controlled via a tablet and return data in the form of maps and images so that the operator can see exactly what is behind the building, as an example. The team has been working on finding a hybrid approach to help robots make sense of the world around them. Since the technology would require image recognition, deep learning techniques would sound quite beneficial. Therefore, algorithms similar to those Google uses to recognize objects in photos let the robots identify buildings, vegetation, vehicles, and people. Senior ARL roboticist Ethan Stump says that as well as identifying whole objects, a robot running the software can recognize key points like the headlights and wheels of a car, helping them work out the car's exact position and orientation. Although several groups of people have already expressed their concerns over the technology of fully autonomous weapons, platforms, and ethical implications of artificial intelligence on the battlefield, many defense systems are being developed with the aim of relieving human forces from strain or danger. Living organisms often tend to perpetuate their species, among which the humans are the most prolific. It is the humans who have populated almost every continent on our planet. And we have now gone rogue by going beyond biology to replicate our form in art and engineering our physical attributes into machines. Companies like Hanson Robotics have been building human-like robots designed for emotive interactions and intelligent conversations with people. Adding to this, the artificial intelligence and speech recognition technology that the company has deployed into its machines and uses a patented material that closely resembles real human skin to create machines that genuinely look 
speak, and act like humans. The company has been known over the world for launching its popular signature robots such as Professor Einstein, Albert Hubo, and Sophia, the first robot ever to be granted citizenship by the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. The robot Sophia has also been featured in a number of talk shows, including Good Morning Britain with Piers Morgan and The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon. The company, based in Hong Kong, aims to market their robotics and AI products to businesses and organizations in education, research, entertainment, healthcare, media, and consumer services industries. As of now, the company has been able to raise around $21.7 million in funding rounds. Another company that goes by the name of Boston Dynamics, founded in the year 1992, has been reported to be developing highly mobile robots that include some of the most iconic machines that have ever been built. Its most famous humanoid robot, named Atlas, was launched in the year 2013, and since then has been developed into a fully articulated, highly agile, bipedal machine that can run, jump, dance, perform parkour tricks, and on top of that, do somersaults too. It is about 5 feet tall and weighs around 190 pounds, with its latest variant becoming a viral sensation in 2021, which has been described to have ushered in a new species called the Robo Sapiens. PAL Robotics, yet another company founded in Barcelona, introduced the world to the first fully autonomous humanoid robot in Europe. The company's precision-engineered machines are designed for human collaboration and can be deployed for menial tasks as well as industrial applications. With its business model keeping a consistent check on its products to ensure that it possesses a high level of customizability to allow users to integrate a range of modular parts based on their requirements. The company's humanoid robots can be tailor-made for logistics, retail, marketing, social, research, and other purposes. Then came the favorite company of every robotics fan, the SoftBank Robotics, the company that introduced us to Pepper in 2014, the robot that has been mounted on wheels for its mobility but is the shortest and the world's first social robot that possesses facial recognition technology. It is capable of responding appropriately to almost every basic human emotion, and is able to proactively interact with people and converse in 15 languages, including English, Arabic, French, and Spanish. And then came the Shadow Robots company that can literally lend you a hand in almost every task you need to execute. The London-based company is reported to build highly articulated machines and systems based on the physiology and functionality of human hands. Baked with precision over the years, the firm's product fills a niche requirement for your businesses and organizations that need sophisticated robotics with advanced dexterity. Do you think robots can take over every industry in the future? Can robots automate every human task? Will robots reduce the number of job opportunities in the future? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below. We would love to hear your thoughts on this while we keep working on making more such videos. Well, that brings us to the end of this video. We hope you have enjoyed watching the video. Please like the video if you have not already and make sure to hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to press the bell icon to never miss another update from our channel. With that being said, let's meet in another one of these videos. Until then, see ya!